Hey Star Wars Collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review and this time I have Yariel Poof. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I um, haven't heard it being pronounced by any other person. So um, just got him loose, um, you know, another addition to my Jedi collection. Of course Yariel Poof was seen in the prequel trilogy, I think only in The Phantom Menace, if I remember correctly. And uh, he is from the Saga Collection. Uh, he's a repack that was seen in a, I um, can't remember which collection it was, but it, the Jedi High Council pack came with uh, two other figures with some seats uh, to kind of, you know, represent the, the, the Jedi, the Council, the Jedi Council. And, uh, but he was re-released in the uh, Saga Collection. So that's, that's, uh, I got him loose. So let's get, let's go on to the figure, okay? First of all, it does come with a, its own stand. I got the stand. And it has his name on there. Definitely miss these these figure stands. Probably the best that were released, in my opinion, uh, over the years for Star Wars collectors because they were personalized. It's awesome. That one peg there looks good. All right. So let's go on to the figure. So there he is. <laughs> He's a weird alien. I don't know what species he is, but uh, he, he always stood out to me in that scene in The Phantom Menace because of the long neck. And uh, if you haven't seen the parody on Robot Chicken of this guy, it's hilarious. So ch I definitely check it out. Robot Chicken Star Wars special. I forget which one it was. But anyways, he's an interesting looking guy. But the, field, the, the figure itself, not the best articulation, but it has some great detail. As you can see, the head sculpt. Um, has uh, it's a good facial sculpt. The neck looks good. Focus again, please. Mm. Let's see if that will work. There it is. But it looks good. The eyes look really good. It looks like it's staring right at you. So some good paint applications with the sh the shading. I like that. Okay. Uh, the part around the neck looks really cool. This collar right here. I don't know what else to call it. Looks great. The upper part of the tunic with the folds and the creases looks pretty good. Belt looks nice with the notches and the knobs there. The silver knobs. Some pouches. Okay. The plastic here. The sculpt here hanging down looks really nice too. Uh, one of my favorite aspects of, of the character, the figure, is the hands. So this one's kind of doing the Jedi mind trick. But he's got these long fingers. They're, they're gray. They look really cool. Sorry about that. Okay, same thing with the other hand. I think it looks really good. My, one of my favorite parts of the figure. Now you got the soft good skirt. Underneath, you've got his really skinny, knobby knees <laughs> and legs. He's got these two two toes with the claws on his feet. And you've got these sandals that kind of wrap around his leg. Looks good. With the nice gray skin tone paint application, which I really like throughout the figure. And then there's this plastic uh, kind of a skirt underneath and you've got this articulation here this seat hinge articulation since he's a repack of the of of, of the yariel poof that was released with the jedi High council they had their chairs so he has the articulation uh, needed to sit down so as you can see so he can sit okay all right speaking of articulation you have no articulation in the head okay You've got your swivel um, shoulders, and you've got your swivel elbows, and your swivel wrists. Okay, The waist is swivel also, and then of course you've got that seat articulation I was telling you about, so you can sit down, that hinge right there, you've got your, your, your hinged uh, knees there, that's about it. So not bad, articulation. You know, he can stand up pretty well on his stand, so that's really good. And he has this concept lightsaber. 
that's been seen with Roran Roran Korob, and it was also seen with the Stormtrooper, the Macquarie one. And I think mainly because since his hands are kind of big, you know, the long fingers that a standard lightsaber hilt would just kind of, you know, wouldn't fit, it would just go right through. But since there's that, like, part where it kind of like ignites, it's just thicker, that prevents it from slipping through his fingers. It's probably why he got that lightsaber. Looks good nonetheless, you know, it's a it's a rare lightsaber to, to have, so it kind of makes him even more distinguished. Okay. So as compared, uh, do a little size comparison with the neck. He does stand a little bit taller, of course, due to the neck. Not much taller, but there he is compared to say C10. Okay. So he's a little bit taller, of course, due to that neck. All in all, a great figure. He tends to run for about fifteen dollars online. I got him for twelve. Thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, so, I, like I said, loose. So I definitely recommend Yariel Poof. He's a great looking figure. Not the best articulation, but a great looking figure. Highly recommended to those out there who who enjoy Alien Jedi and just want to continue to to build up their uh, their collection. Okay. So until next time, my friends, please subscribe. Please comment. Please like. And, um, and then, like I said, until next time, may the Force be with you.